speaking of AEW, maybe some drama going on backstage within the company as Dave Meltzer reiterated all the reports we've heard over the last couple of days as far as issues backstage, drama and frustrations and so forth within the company. So on Wednesday, we had seen CM Punk call out Hangman Page and nothing come of it. Then we learned, that was a shoot, brother. CM Punk went into business for himself and called out Hangman Page, all well knowing Hangman probably wouldn't come out, then called him a coward. Well, according to Dave Meltzer in the latest Wrestling Observer newsletter, Meltzer wrote, quote, A ton of backstage drama, including many of the top guys, has gotten much worse in recent weeks. It felt like a number of people are close to their breaking point if things don't get settled. So we don't know exactly what all of this means, but we have heard recently people frustrated, people upset, people not happy with how Tony Khan is running things. I mean, we've heard that for over a year, that Tony Khan plays favorites, that Tony Khan sometimes acts like, oh yeah, you can come talk to me and this and this and this and this and this, and he'll, he'll listen to you and then just do whatever he wants anyways because he's the booker. So it's like a lot of people are frustrated with different things and Tony Khan and other people in the company and it's not looking good. It's really not looking good. And it's funny because when this was brought up a couple of weeks ago, Tony Khan and Dustin Rhodes also reiterated, well, it's not like people could just leave. They got contracts. They got to work. They got to stay here till their contracts are up. So it's like, you're going to hold people hostage. Now, maybe that's me going a little too far. In saying that, but it is very interesting to hear that there is a lot of dissension, a lot of frustration, and a lot of people upset in all elite wrestling. Going to hold on, I think I might have another quote here as well. Let's um open this really fast. Why is that not wanting to load? Here we go. So, um, here we go. We got more from the Meltzer quote. Um, this says, there's a part of me, this is Meltzer writing, there's a part of me where I just think Tony needs to sit everyone down and air everything out before it gets worse. The big thing that started all this, that Colt Cabana is not in dark order with no angle and stopped being brought to television. He was going to be cut, but Khan resigned him for ROH. This is really the catalyst of everything, although different people have different stories as to why it happened, including Punk and Page. But even if that didn't happen, it was probably going to happen for something else just given the nature of the different personalities involved. It feels like a number of people are close to their breaking point if things don't get settled. So there we go. There's a lot of things that Tony Khan just does with no rhyme or reason. Bump, bump, bump. And then people go, well, why'd you do that? And they don't give no explanation. And then they get upset when they're not given the explanation, which totally makes sense. Because if Cole Cabana is featured in Dark Order as a prominent member of the group and this and that, and he's on TV every week, and all of a sudden he's just not there, and he's no longer in the group, you start to ask, why? And you're not getting answers. You go, oh, crap. Could this happen to me? Could I be next? But of course... You know, they, they started Ring of Honor. Well, they, they bought Ring of Honor, Tony Khan. And so now Cole Cabana is going to be part of that. But then we don't know what's going on with Ring of Honor. Ring of Honor had a pay-per-view. Was Cole Cabana there? I don't know. But was Cole Cabana on the show? I don't remember because I barely watched the show. Um, Was Cole Cabana on the Death Before Dishonor show? I honestly don't remember. So let's look up the results of that show. I actually don't remember if Cole Cabana Cole was. He was in the opening pre-show match against Anthony Hendry. Or Henry. He did win. But it's like, you're in one of the top groups in the company. You're featured on BTE every week. You're featured on Dynamite every week. Even if you're not having matches, you're going out there with the other members of Dark Order. And then nothing. Nothing. No explanation. No nothing given. So I can see why people are upset about that. Because if you're upset about one person and not getting an explanation on why this happened to them... What's to start in your head going, oh, crap, oh, crap, could this happen to me? Could this same thing be happening to me? And as far as frustration does go within the company, we know that, well, it seems like 
Varsity Blondes may be a little frustrated. This past week, they took on the Gun Club in a match that lasted literally 45 seconds. As soon as the match was over and they were able to get to the back, Griff Garrison sent out a tweet just that said, frustrated. All it said was, frustrated. Then, Brian Pillman Jr. started retweeting people, basically stocking the frustration for him. We go to his Twitter right here, Brian Pillman Jr., he tweeted out a number of different tweets. Let's get that up here on the screen. Um, here we go. So there's one here. It says, Flying Brian, you should have pushed for an angle with Dustin Rhodes, just like your dad had back in the day. That could have given you that could give you a nice boost. There's another one. Uh, so Brian tweeted out this. Nobody is owed or deserved anything in this business. It's earned, bought, and paid for with blood, sweat, tears, and rent is due every day. If you think I haven't been grinding in the dark, then think again. I will become the biggest star in professional wrestling. And other people, you know, retweeted on that. Don't stop. Don't sleep on Brian Pillman Jr. But some of the tweets yesterday was like, I feel like the loose cannon needs to be released. Unstoppable you will be. Keep it up, brother. Another one is, I kind of feel heel persona at Flair's last match. And there's just a number of different tweets of people frustrated for him and him retweeting them. So, so, yeah. People not happy right now in All Elite Wrestling. That's not good to see.